Got a 2010 Infiniti G37S with a check engine light. Let's get the Innova 5610 plugged in and see if we can figure it out. Hey, what's up YouTube, Dan the Fix-It Man. Got another quick video here for you. Now this is my buddy's 2010 Infiniti G37S. Ever since he cleaned out the throttle bodies, it's been running really bad and he says it's got a check engine light on. So he asked if I could uh, bring over the Innova 5610 and help him figure it out. I'm just gonna turn the ignition on by pressing the button twice. All right. Okay, says we've got a P0174 permanent fuel system lean bank two. Now he said he was cleaning out the throttle body or the little butterfly valves there. And uh, he says he pushed on the little electronic throttle body and he's thinking that maybe that stuck. I'm surprised we don't have another code for that. You know, the P0174 is usually just a lean code, meaning that our air to fuel ratio is a little off, or it might just mean that we've got a little too much air coming in on that side of the engine. So it could be a vacuum leak or something like that, but Let's go ahead and start it up. He said it's also running really bad. Oh yeah, you can definitely feel it's running rough right now. It's kind of fluttering up and down. Oh, now it's, it's almost wanting to die. You know, I'm gonna take a look and see if something got unplugged or any connections, any of the hoses. Uh, it definitely does not sound happy at all. It's really running rough. It almost died just a second ago and it's also kind of hissing. So let's go take a look real quick. Yeah, it's definitely hissing. You can hear that there's a leak or something a vacuum leak of some sort. It sounds like it's coming from over here near the back. Oh, look at that. Take a look here. Yep, that look, would do, look. Oh yeah, that would do it. <laughs> Looks like the uh, hose got broken off right here. As soon as I take my finger off that, it wants to die, so. That's an easy fix. Man, that's uh, hopefully that's all it is. Let's let's turn it off. We'll fix that and then we'll clear this and see if it runs any better. Well, that was pretty loud. Hopefully you could hear what I was saying, but I just immediately heard a hissing noise and uh, you know, I just thought maybe something is loose or got pulled. He did have this throttle body off and obviously that would have pulled this hose and looks like this one right here completely cracked open or completely broke. So let's get some pliers in there and we'll, uh, we'll get that fixed. There we go. There's the broken piece. Pretty easy. And where does it attach to? It goes over and ties into right behind my intake. Are you just trying to cut it shorter? No, I actually moved the hoses around, and I think when I moved the hoses around, it got too tight. Oh, yeah. And, uh, it looks like there's not quite enough room to cut and stretch, so we might need to splice in another hose. Let's go see what we got. That's the hose? Yep. Yep, just not quite long enough to, uh, to stretch, but it looks like we've got another spare that we're going to try to cut and splice into place. There's the broken piece and this hose. They don't feel real brittle or anything, but he's thinking that when he had the throttle bodies off, he probably pulled on that hose and didn't realize it, but it uh, cracked it and broke it. You know, really that P0174, that's all that really means is a vacuum leak or system too lean. So we knew some unmetered air was getting in. Because that was so loud, it was pretty easy to spot. I don't think it was that loud when he first started it up and you know, he didn't have the hood pop, so probably didn't pick up on that right away, but uh, pretty quick and easy to spot that. I'm gonna jump in the car, clear the code, and then we'll start it up and see how it, uh, see how it runs and see if that code goes away. All right, let's... Uh, Let's turn the ignition back on first and get connected to the tool. I'm going to reconnect here and then erase that code. 
Now we also have a P0300 that just showed up, multiple misfires. And of course, because we were so lean, because there was so much air getting in, I'm sure that that was causing, you know, you, you heard the engine almost died. And so that's, that's, I'm sure a part of this same thing, but we're gonna go ahead and erase that. Yeah, so there's the P0171, P0174. So it's saying bank one and bank two. So P0171 is bank one, P0174 is bank two. So of course, because that leak was where it was, there was so much air that it was getting in on both sides. I guess the computer couldn't differentiate which side it was on, but in our case, it didn't matter. We found it and it's fixed. So let's go ahead and erase that. And it's going to go ahead and rescan on its own. Now the P0174 is showing up as a permanent code. A lot of times you cannot erase a permanent code like that. You have to drive the vehicle. Once the condition has been remedied, you have to drive the vehicle so many drive cycles and then it has to detect or verify that it's no longer an issue. It might clear after just a short while, but let's go ahead and start the engine and see how it sounds. Engine sounds great now. It's running really smooth, no misses at all. and. Uh, We've got a nice running engine again. Do a quick scan again and see if that code is still showing up as permanent. Yep, there it is. You know, we'll, we'll try to erase it. It says erase was successful, but I don't think it's gonna go off. Yeah, so we still have the P0174. So I'm gonna let the owner know he just needs to drive it around, run it through a few drive cycles. The computer just needs to verify that that condition is completely fixed or solved and it's not gonna come back. And you can see we still have some incomplete monitors. And of course that's gonna also complete once we go through the vehicle's drive cycles. So that's pretty much it. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'll get a link in the description where you can pick up this exact same scan tool as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck. Who did that? Not this guy.